Water Water is a very important resource for all the living organisms. All the water on the earth makes up the hydrosphere. Our earth is the only planet having abundance of water. Therefore, our earth is known as a watery planet. Study at a glance. Water, hydrological cycle, salinity of sea water, major water bodies, significance of oceans, waves, tides and ocean currents. Water. About 71% of the surface of the earth is covered by water. Oceans are the large interconnecting water bodies encircling the continents. They contain nearly 97% of the world's total water and the rest of the 3% of water is available in ponds, lakes, rivers, etc. Hydrological Cycle The earth receives pure and fresh water from the raindrops condensing in the clean atmosphere. Surface springs also provide fresh water. Water evaporates continuously from the oceans and other small water bodies. This evaporated water enters into the atmosphere. The water vapor keeps on floating in the air and moves with the moving air. Due to the process of condensation, water vapor turns into water droplets and ultimately fall on the ground as rain or snow. This rain water runs into the sea from where it gets evaporated, thus completing a cycle. This is known as the hydrological cycle. Sea water Although we live on land, yet we have a lot to do with the sea and oceans as they provide transport routes, modify climate and provide food and minerals. There are three types of movements in the sea water, viz. waves, tides, currents. The movements in the sea water take place basically due to the following factors. The difference in the temperature of sea water. The difference in salinity of the seas. Variation in the density of water. Impact of the prevailing winds. Salinity of sea water. Salinity is the amount of salt in grams present in 1000 grams of water. The average salinity of the oceans is 35 parts per thousand. The sea water is saline. All the sea water contains a large amount of dissolved minerals of which sodium chloride or common salt constitutes more than 77%. Magnesium, calcium and potassium are the other mineral compounds. The amount of salt in the sea water is called salinity. The amount of salinity is variable in water. In the enclosed seas, where the rate of evaporation is high, the salinity is high. Example, the Caspian Sea and the Dead Sea. Swimmers can float in it because the increased salt content makes it dense. The highest amount of salinity is found in Lake Wan in Asia Minor. In the cold polar areas where the rate of evaporation is low, the salinity is also very low. Example, the Baltic Sea. Major Water Bodies There are four major oceans on the Earth. They are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean. Pacific Ocean This is the largest ocean. It is roughly triangular. It covers nearly one third of the Earth's surface. The average depth of this ocean is 4,572 meters. But this is the deepest ocean and the deepest point in this ocean is the Marina Trench. This ocean is bordered by North America 
and South America on the east and Asia and Australia on the west. Pacific Ocean is dotted with over 20,000 islands and a large number of marginal seas. Atlantic Ocean Atlantic Ocean is almost half the size of the Pacific Ocean. It is S-shaped and it covers nearly one-sixth of the Earth's surface. This ocean is bordered by North America and South America on the west, Europe and Africa on the east. It interconnects Arctic Ocean in the north and Southern Ocean in the south. This ocean has a number of islands and marginal seas. It provides busy transport routes between North America and Europe. Indian Ocean Indian Ocean is often called as half an ocean. It is encircled by Africa, Asia and Australia. It is a small ocean and does not open northwards. The deepest trench of Indian Ocean is the Sunda Trench. Southern Ocean This is a large water body which is around the Antarctic continent. It merges with Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Ocean. Significance of Oceans Oceans play a dominant role in order to control all types of life on Earth. They enjoy a direct influence over the temperature. In regulating the temperature, closeness to the ocean is a major factor. They are the storehouse of minerals. Oceans are the main sources of fishes and other edible marine life. They have the enormous potential to generate energy from tidal waves. A free and permanent route for travel and trade is provided to us by the oceans. Waves Waves are caused by the pushing action of the winds. Particles of water in a wave move mainly up and down and pass on their movement to the neighboring water particles forming curls in water. These curls form a wave. An earthquake or volcanic eruption or underwater landslides can shift large amounts of ocean water resulting in the formation of a huge tidal wave called tsunami which may be as high as 15 meters. Waves are oscillatory movements in water in which water particles move up and down in the direction of oscillation. A wave has two major parts. The upward part is called crest and the downward part is called the trough. The vertical distance between a crest and a trough is called wave height and the horizontal distance between two troughs or two crests is called wave length. The size and force of the sea waves depend on the velocity of the wind, duration of the blowing wind, the distance the wind covers in the open seas. Tides The sea water regularly rises upwards and falls at regular intervals. This happens twice a day approximately after every 12 hours. This rhythmic rise and fall of seawater at regular intervals is known as tide. The strong gravitational pull exerted by the sun and the moon on earth's surface causes the tides. Sea tides are caused due to the attraction of moon and to some extent that of the sun. The tides are of two types, high tides, low tides. The rise of the sea water is called high tide. The falling of sea water due to the attraction of moon and sun is called low tide. On a full moon day and a new moon day, the sun, the moon and the earth are almost in a line. The sun and moon thus exert a combined gravitational pull due to which the tides are at their highest level. This is known as spring tides. 
on the half moon, the sun and moon are at right angle to the earth's center and the pull of the moon is partly cancelled by the pull of the sun. And as a result, there is a low rise of water. This is known as neap tides. Uses of tides. They help in navigation and fishing. At high tide, the depth of the sea and bay increases. This enables the big ship to enter or leave the harbour easily. Tide at some places takes away the mud brought down by rivers and prevents silting of the harbour. Tidal water makes rivers suitable for navigation. Tides are also a major source of energy. Ocean currents the ocean currents are a horizontal movement of a mass of water in a fairly defined or constant direction over great distance. They are like streams of water flowing in the oceans and in a regular pattern. Ocean currents which originate from equatorial area and flow towards polar areas are known as warm currents. The ocean currents which originate from polar regions and flow towards equatorial areas are the cold currents. The ocean currents originate due to difference in density of sea water, the rotation of the earth, the planetary winds. The main characteristics of warm currents are the following. The temperature of the coastal areas goes up by warm currents. Warm currents help in navigation. Warm currents keep the port, even in the polar region, free from ice. Summary The Earth is the only planet with water. The oceans contain 97% of the water resources and the rest of the 3% comes from lakes, rivers and ponds. The water which comes to us completes a cycle. It reaches us as raindrops which get drained into the seas and oceans and from there on it gets evaporated only to be condensed again in the clean atmosphere. This cycle is called hydrological cycle. The sea water is saline due to the presence of a large amount of minerals, especially sodium chloride. The major water bodies are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean and Southern Ocean. Oceans play a dominant role in controlling all life forms on Earth. Sea water has three types of movements, waves, tides and ocean currents. Waves are oscillatory movements in which water particles move up and down. Tides are the rhythmic rise and fall of sea water at regular intervals.